Good morning guys, Josh here. Today in this video, we're gonna go over a little bit of settings, do a little bit of fishing and just have a wonderful day. It's supposed to be really windy. Uh, where'd my hat go? Uh, uh, there it is. What's my hat doing down? Come on, why do people, why would I put my hat down there for crying out loud? Now that I found my hat, in this video, we're gonna go over live scope settings and we're just gonna have a fun day on the water. So enjoy the video, here we go. fat female we're gonna turn her loose <laughs> wow all right as you can see we're, we're resetting settings so it's gonna reset all the settings so let's let it do all that all right it's reset we're gonna go to United States English okay go through here and set your unit up how you however you want to um, you want to do it I'm just going to go through here and do that. I don't care about all that stuff. Okay. Now see how it's dim? We're going to hit the power and we're going to turn that backlight up. Okay. You can use that backlight to your advantage on your image as well. Let that be a be a, a note in your, your, your uh, book here. Let's see here. Go back. All right. Now we're going to go pin off. So this is, this is, this is your normal image here got let's go over here there's a couple of bass on the bottom and and that image right there is out of the box it's what most people get um there's a log over here i want to look at it's only 10 foot deep here you see there's a couple of standing timber this is the old gen 1 transducer you know this is not not a bad image we're shooting what we're shooting out 40 foot or something like that that's not a bad image i mean out of the box but we can make that a lot better so here we go in your settings menu we're going to take all this off auto we're going to go menu first thing i'm going to do sonar setup and i'm going to tear my appearance i'm going to go to copper i like copper it's easy on my eyes i like copper that's just you can go to black emerald you can do to amber you can do whatever color you like okay i'm going to take my color gain I want you to watch that bottom. Everybody says turn that color gain up as loud as you can get it. Okay, guys, we're gonna do that real quick. What's that color gain doing right now? We'll take that, we're gonna take this down like this. What's that color gain doing? What did that color gain do? It saturated the bottom. You can't see crap on the bottom with that color gain turned up like that. I don't I don't care what anybody says, you're not seeing anything on the bottom with that color gain turned up. That's color saturation is what that's called. You cannot see anything on the bottom sitting down in a rock with color gain turned up that much. Take that color gain. Never needs to be more than 5% of your overall gain. Look at there. Now we can see detail. Look at there, guys. Right there, just like that. I, I, I usually turn my, my color gain around 65%. Okay, color limit, I never, my color limit, I leave it on zero. Um, I never use color limit. Um, okay, so my noise rejection. I put my noise rejection on high. For those that say that it, to, to, you can use, you can run it on medium, you can run it on low, you can do whatever you want, it's your graph. I run mine on high, I have zero lag. 
If you have a lag, you have a problem. Simple. TVG. I run my TVG on in deep water. Time variable gain is for deep water. For shallow water, don't run it because it it, it, it will you, you won't be able to see your bait. It filters out a lot of particulates in the water. And I mean, look at that image. You can already see a lot better. My ghost rejection. I run that on medium. Then I'm going to go to my layout. I'm going to turn my grid overlay off. And I'm going to turn my reverse range on medium because I'm not fishing behind the boat. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back out. I'm going to turn my gain up just about 65, 66. And then I'm going to put my... I, when I'm fishing for fish, I never, I never sh come in 35, 35 foot. I never do that. When I'm searching for fish... I usually put it out about 65 to 70 foot. There's a dock right in front of me. You can see it really good. But that image right there is 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 an amazing image. So let's go out here and look at some logs. All right, guys, here we are. Let's look at these trees real quick. I mean, you can see pretty good. See that fish that come off that tree right there? See that pretty good. That's with my settings. Let's look at that bank real quick. Let's turn back. Look at that bottom on that, that detail on that bottom right there. Let's turn real quick. Let's look at that bottom real quick. Let's look. That's a ledge right there. That's a, a rock ledge right there on the bottom. Let's look at that. We can see the detail in that pretty good. There's fish right on top of it. Sorry about the, uh, the background, the blur on the background. I've got kind of a sunny day out here. I can't really. Look at that. You can see the, the, you can see in the rocks really good right there and i'm shooting out 60 foot guys if we want to zoom in here we can really see look at there guys that's what my settings there's a fish right there sitting on top of that there's some fish right there then we're with my settings guys now let me show you something let's turn that color gain up what everybody says do turn that color gain way up there let's blow that image out look at there look at there you can't see crap it blows that image out. You can't see down inside there. You can't see nothing. Now turn that color gain down a little bit. And guess what? Around 65 is where it needs to be. Let's go back over this way. It's kind of a windy day out here. There you go. Now you can start seeing in there again. Go back, back, back. Look at there. Look at that. Now you can see in them rocks again. See, see them rocks right there? Pretty good. Them are my settings, guys. That's what I run. I have a pretty dang clear image, and that's the old two-wire transducer. Um, try it out. See what you think. Um, if you if you have a lag, if you run that new 34 transducer and you, you've got a lag, you've got something wrong. Call Garmin. Walk through the steps. Let them walk through the steps. They may send you a new unit, but you've got something wrong. Um, I see it all the time. I've, I've set up thousands of units. It's there's a, there's an issue. You shouldn't have any lag when you run that that ghost re, that um, noise rejection on high. You shouldn't have any issues at all. So let's go over here real quick. That's eight foot. I say that's pretty good. And you can see them spiders that I put out pretty good. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go even shallower. Let's see, you gotta go around here. Let's see, let's go back. There's some fish right there. Let's go really shallow right here. There's a tire right there. Up right there. Kind of the backside of them right there. See that tire right there? Oh, let's go really shallow. I mean, you can see pretty good, guys. Try them settings out and see if they help you. Remember, keep that color gain turned down. You don't need it real high. It blows that image out. I mean, look at that, guys. You can see out there just fine. 25 feet, there's a stump with a fish on top of it. You can see that pretty good. And we're in six foot of water. No, no dead spots. No nothing. I mean, it's all in your settings. Good power. Really uh, check it out, guys. All right, another thing, guys. I want you to go to your home setting. I want you to go to charts, 
fishing chart in your mapping i want you to go to menu layers water depth shading see how that gives you your depth shading okay let's go back a little bit keep going back what that did was it allowed me to show where my shallow sections are, my mid sections, my channel that comes through. Where I find most of my crappie are on the edges of these green sections and these, these yellow sections here. In the springtime, I find them in these, these orange and yellow sections here. In the, in the summer times, I find them out here where this white and this greens meet. You can see where most of my, my lines are. These are my running lines here. Don't pay attention to them. But most of my time, I'm out here focusing on this area right here. This is where the channels are. This is where I find my fish. But anyways, check out your depth shading on your mapping. This will help you out a lot. All right, guys. I hope these settings helped you. We're going to try to jump up here and catch some of these fish that I've been seeing. It's starting to get a little bit windy. Um, hey guys, if you're having a problem with lagging when you switch over to that LVS 34 transducer, call Garmin. They'll walk you through it. You shouldn't have any kind of lagging issue. That is a problem with either your black box or your graph. Simple as that. It's not a setting issue. It is a issue with your black box or your graph, period. Nothing else. Call Garmin. Tell them what's going on. Try resetting your unit. Go through your settings again. Try updating your unit because they're going to want you to update your unit. And then move forward. That's all you got to do. You should not have any kind of lagging or pausing when you switch to a newer transducer. Anyways, we're going to jump up here. We're going to catch some of these fish. So enjoy the rest of the video. top of the mouth dirty dancing right in the mouth i tell you what guys the wind is blowing like crazy but the fish are biting that that looks to be uh spawned out female i guarantee you she spawned nice Probably the biggest crappie of the day, right there. Oh, wait, look at that one! Look at that one, guys! Oh, holy cow! Look at that one! Jesus! <laughs> Whoa, right at the top of my end. There's that's a 17 and a half inch fish right there, guys. Whoo! Look at that one! Oh my golly, dude, that is a big old fish right there guys holy crap holy crap holy crap let's see what that one is 16 inch ruler oh my gosh 17 inch fish way bigger than that ruler guys that is a stud of a crop look at that oh my gosh 
All right, I'm done for the day. That was it. Oh, golly. All right, guys, well, we're about to wrap it up here. I appreciate you all watching my videos. And uh, like always, you're not going to catch any fish sitting on the couch. So until then, we'll see you out on the water. Have a great evening.